one of the big differentiators between HCI or INN or Chuck Institute is the pra- not only the practicality of you will be asked to do the work, but the coaching you get along your journey. There's tons of coaching certifications out there, but they're not going to have that support system of you getting one-on-one time with coaches to coach you around your your challenges, whether it's your insecurities of the coursework, your difficulties with your practice clients that we're making you go through because we want to ensure that you know what you're doing and you feel confident, but then also just the transition and transformation that you will have. Like there's nothing worse than retaining all this information and then not having a space to like really digest it and evolve from it. So I think if you are in consideration, thinking about you having your own coach in the process of learning how to become a coach is going to allow your success to be much greater, much faster in the long run. Another great thing about it is all of us coaches that we're here to support you, we've all been there. We've all been through the Become and Health and Life Coach program. We totally know what it feels like to enter into this program. We are living proof that you get to the other side and you can you know, realize some personal goals and realize some professional goals. And we are here to support you every step of the way. Uh, we love it. There are lots of like basic commonalities around the fears and insecurities that all individuals have in the beginning of their coaching journey. Um, To name a few would be the feeling prepared enough to a charge, feeling like you know enough or you have enough experience. Uh, The next would be to be not, not a master of something yourself and then having someone come to you. Like there's that imposter syndrome of, oh no, I don't have this figured out. How am I supposed to help something, someone else? And that's the beautiful thing I was talking about before is that powerful exchange that when there's that curiosity, accountability and reframing always occurring, it allows you to kind of expand. Um, And then just the typical Putting yourself out there, visibility is really difficult for a lot of us, depending on whether it's the money, the identity, or just the self-belief work, um, that those are definitely the commonalities of challenges. Yeah, one of the the big ticket items that I, I noticed through a lot of students that they encounter is the anxiety when they measure things, measure themselves compared to what? And uh, one of the topics that I explain to to students is that uh, depending on what you me- how you measure it means everything. So I, I help them to understand a quick slogan, and the slogan is, uh, you know, if you measure inch, it's a cinch. If you measure by the yard, it's hard. Measure by the inch, and let's look at the gaps in between and make incremental growth. And when you stop take a moment to look behind you and see the growth, you'll notice that you have moved in a direction and preferably in the direction you want to go. So helping them with that end by understanding that they can measure by the inch is a cinch. One of my favorite things about helping students is working with them on their coaching skills and helping them, you know, call attention to some of the technical aspects. You know, a lot of students will come in here, come into the Become a Health and Life Coach program where they have some natural gifts. They've noticed that they're there's the, 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 the go to person. And then there's a there's this underneath stuff, the structure. And so I love being able to kind of highlight that for them. And then they have this like, wow, that's what it's about. And I just I love when I get to move them to that wow moment. It's just so fun and satisfying for me. Being an empowerment coach, what that means to me is It's just such an honor and a privilege because I get to hold up the proverbial mirror to the students that come through. And then I get to reflect back to them what their positive attributes are and their positive values that they may have been discounting or ignoring. And from there, it's about, you know, helping them to unearth the answers that they have inside themselves already that they didn't know and that they they know, but they don't know they know. 
So that is always just so fun and getting to be that facilitator and witness to stepping them stepping into their confidence. And that allows them to then move forward with actions that are aligned with what they're creating. The thing I love about the Health Coach Institute is it has that practical component. It not only provides you what it is you're going to be becoming, but it in it enables you and kind of forces you to put it to practice. The coaching allows you to take your ideas and dreams and to not only make it achievable, but to create a safe space and a really powerful community to do it in. And that's the exciting component. One-on-one -on -one coaching is very important because as we go through our life and, and want to become a coach, we are not sure or we don't have the validation that we're going in the right direction. And having that one-on-one -on -one toolage, that one-on-one uh, -on -one interaction helps to confirm or at least give some validation, some concrete belief that the, we're going in that direction that we want to go. One-on-one -on -one coaching is really um, an integral and beneficial part of the Become a Health and Life Coach program because this program is not only a coaching certification program, this program is a personal development program. And personal development, in my opinion, is part of the job description of being a coach because it enables us to take our clients further when we've done the work on ourselves. Because, you know, let's be honest, we all have blind spots and undertaking, undertaking coach training, well, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a dentist <laughs> going to dentist school and then declaring that they don't ever need a dental hygienist anymore. So going to coach training without being coached is kind of like that. So it's, a, it's just a key part of the learning. You know, that's the big picture. 